Good morning, good morning, good morning. And welcome to a thoroughly stunning Somerset. Now I'm taking you out to East Somerset today to show you a, a little known secret of East Somerset called Nunny Castle. Now Nunny Castle is a 14th century castle built by the local knight at the time who was, uh, I think it was John Delamere. I don't think it's any link to Western Supermare, just it was John of the Sea. I think would have been his title in English, but John Delamere, uh, he built Nunny Castle in 1370, I believe, or around that time. Um, and it's actually one of the best preserved small castles in the UK. It's an English heritage site. And it's really pretty, really pleasant. It's in the middle of nowhere, just a tiny little village, which is extremely pretty. And I think I'm going to take you there tonight and show you. So while we're on our way out to Nunny, I'm going to tell you a little story about my past and I'm going to link it to this channel. So when I was about 10 or 11, as most kids do, boys mainly I expect, I joined a, uh, a music band, a rock band, playing all sorts of uh, really good stuff like Iron Maiden and Black Sabbath and uh, what else was there? Metallica, that sort of thing. I played guitar and I played it really badly. Never took any lessons. Didn't really want to spend that sort of money. I don't want to ask my parents to spend money on lessons for it because it was just a bit of fun at the time. And I sort of winged it for a few years. Went to another band when I was in secondary school. Again, winged it for a few years. Again, not very good. I learned to play some chords. I learned to move my fingers in sort of relatively good positions to get a, a couple of little riffs going, but nothing too exciting. And I was never really considered by myself to be a guitarist. And I sort of gave up when I left school because, you know, I went on to work, went on to join the Royal Air Force. And the time wasn't there, the interest wasn't there. And I knew full well that the ability wasn't there either. So I gave up and then, at about the same age, my son decided to uh, take up playing the guitar. Uh, now he had, not, not necessarily a couple of lessons, but he had a few pointers from people um, that, that we knew through the school and through friends. And he kind of picked up guitaring so much better and quicker and easier than I did. Just bear with me, this is obviously a nasty junction. Is he turning? He's going very fast. Yes, he is. Lovely. Right, okay, so basically, going back to that, my son picked up playing the guitar a lot better than I did, he found it a lot easier than I did, and I consider him to be quite good in the guitar. So when I saw this, I thought, do you know what? I used to play guitar, I forgot how crap I was, and I bought myself another one. Which I enjoyed strumming the same chords that I remembered from when I was a teenager. Tried to play the same riffs as I did when I was a teenager. My slightly older, fatter fingers, didn't quite make it work and I did start to struggle which is why I decided not to take on any lessons and not to try and push it any further with regards to the quality of my guitaring so my guitar became a ornament but going back to this channel now so looking at the people that have supported my channel uh, not just with subscriptions but also with likes and comments and you know getting into conversations about things there's one guy that uh, has followed my channel for quite a while now and, you know, is always open for 
conversations uh, and ask a guy called, called Tim Mason. Now Tim Mason actually has his own channel which I'll put a picture to tomorrow uh, at the bottom of the screen um, where he actually does guitar lessons online. So I got into a conversation with him uh, regarding this and you know mutual admiration of, of uh, people who can actually play guitar well because I know how difficult it can be to learn or at least I thought it was difficult to learn. Now through conversations uh, he was explaining to me how during lockdown retired people that hadn't played guitar before or played an instrument before decided they wanted to get into learning to play guitar and he was actually teaching them via Skype and one thing that really impressed me was when he said that one, um, I, I forget the age of the, uh, the lady, but certainly I think in the 60s or 70s, said that the only contact she had with the outside world was actually her once a week Skype lessons with Tim, which is both heartwarming and, you know, fantastic when you think that that can be how lonely some people can get. That's telling me to go this way, which I wasn't expecting. But I'll go if that's where it's telling me. So, okay, so back at it. So Tim Mason was doing these guitar lessons over the um, Skype during the lockdown, and he's got a, he does guitar lessons anyway. I, I believe that's his business. Um, so I had a look at his uh, his account, um, which is a brilliant channel um, and I listened to some of the videos that he was uh, putting on his channel uh, as part of his training and I was actually blown away truly blown away um, and what I'm gonna do I've spoken to Tim and I've asked him are you okay if I do this and he said yeah that's absolutely fine and what I'm gonna do is when I get to Nunny Castle I'm gonna do some wizardry with some cinematic scenes and colorings and all that good stuff but I'm going to play over the top the audio from one of Tim's videos on his channel which I recommend you go and have a listen to if you're interested in music in any way shape or form um, because this is sort of right at the top level of, of what you can do um, but I'm going to play it over the top and when I do that, I want you to bear one thing in mind, and that is everything that you hear is by one man with one guitar. And that truly blows my mind. So we're not far from Nunny Castle when we get there. I will leave you with uh, some exceptional quality and some stunning views. Please stay with us, as you will be impressed. And I will catch you all very much on the flip side. <laughs> 